aerobic plyometric medley. So aerobic plyometrics are a great way to decrease the risk of soft tissue injuries in sports that have lots of running. Sharp transitions between the off-season, the pre-season and the competitive season often correspond to soft tissue injuries. And as well, being Joe Public, we also as well lose that athleticism and then we tend to go out running and then we get soft tissue injuries because we're not used to that ground contact, that bounce. This is an awesome method for us too. So what we find, and this is because the lower body training stress is not increased gradually enough during this preparatory phase. So that's for all of us. So I go from sitting on the sofa, and then from the sofa I go straight into doing couch to 5K. In actual fact, spending some time doing some aerobic plyometrics would be an awesome way to build up that tissue resilience prior to going out running. So aerobic plyometrics help improve the elasticity and durability of lower body tissues, which increases their ability to handle stress over time. So general guidelines for the aerobic plyometric method are use low to moderate bouncy type movement. So here we can see me hopping side to side, doing loads and loads of different bouncy methods from loads of different angles. Aim for eight to 15 submaximal jumps as you perform this. Rest 10 to 30 seconds before repeating the sequence. So you can see each time that I'm walking back, perform a short work period of three to five minutes. So I'll continue to walk backwards and forwards for three to five minutes and gradually increase over time. You can do even 10 to 12 minutes on these over a period of time. Look for proper jumping technique, minimal ground contact between jumps. Movements should appear fluid and elastic and you basically shouldn't tense up and the athlete's upper and lower body should remain coordinated. There should be enough time rest in between sets to avoid fatigue. As you develop greater elasticity over time, you can increase the number of hurdles or the number of jumps and you can also vary the distances between the hurdles and the complexity of the jumps that you can see here. So I'm using quite complex jumps in this method. Use this method more frequently as you get closer to your competitive season. Improve that tissue quality, improve that bounce. As long as you are following the sequence here, you can do it in any way you can. I've chosen lots of different methods going into this one. We've got lateral movement, we've got sagittal plane movement, we've got double leg bounding, single leg bounding, and basically I'm just going for time for those submaximal jumps and then walking back to the start position. It's an awesome fun method, aerobic plyometric medley, improve that tissue quality.